When you're making deviled eggs, if you throw the egg into boiling water or smash the filling with a fork, you're doing it all wrong. So the first thing that people do wrong when they're making deviled eggs is to throw the eggs directly into a pot of boiling water. Chances are the eggshell is going to crack, especially if the egg is cold, and then you're going to be left with an eggy, watery mess. The next thing that people do wrong is they walk away from the pot. If you walk away from the pot and you don't set a timer, you're going to overcook your eggs, you're going to end up with dry, crumbly, gray, sulfur-smelling eggs that taste like limp cabbage, and nobody wants to eat that. And then to make matters worse, after you've incorrectly cooked your eggs, you're gonna go and peel them while they're hot. That's just stupid. The shell's gonna stick to the egg, plus you're gonna burn your hands. And finally, the biggest offender when you're making your deviled egg mixture is this guy right here, the fork. If you use a fork to make the filling, you're gonna end up with a lumpy, chunky egg mess. And that is not an egg to be proud of. <laughs> So now I'm gonna show you the right way to make deviled eggs. The first thing you wanna do, start with a large egg. With the larger egg, you're gonna end up with more yolk and you can put more filling into the whites. So next, you're gonna cook the eggs, the all important process. Take your eggs, put them into a pot, cover them with cold water and turn the stove on. Once the water comes to a boil, you're gonna set a timer for eight minutes. This is gonna assure that you're gonna get a perfectly cooked hard boiled egg. Once the eggs are cooked, you want to immediately take them out of the water and place them into an ice bath for about five minutes. And this stops the cooking process and makes them easier to peel. So as you're cutting your egg, you want to wipe down your knife in between each cut with a wet towel. Keeping the knife clean makes the eggs easier to cut. The most important point when you're making deviled eggs is using a food processor. Into it, you want to add a little bit of water, a ton of mayonnaise, all of your seasonings and flavors, and maybe some of those egg whites that broke along the way. This will ensure that your filling has a really nice silky texture. When the filling is ready, place it all into a plastic baggie, cut the corner off, and pipe away. Finally, you're ready to garnish your eggs. And this is where the fun part comes in. Traditionally, deviled eggs are garnished with paprika and chives. I like to use bacon, smoked salmon, capers, roasted peppers. Anything you want really will work. Just garnish away. If you follow all of these steps, you'll be left with perfectly cooked, velvety smooth deviled eggs.